Hello again. We are at part two of the Ninja Turtle tub sorting. And uh, I have at least found another one full of the 2002-2003 toys that I will be going through as well. So here we are. Let's just see what's in this tub. <laughs> okay, so looks like we got a Turtle Trooper box here. Not in the best shape, not in the worst shape. Turtle Trooper, 1988. That knucklehead thing uh, for the foot soldiers always looked really cool, I thought. Always wanted one of those. And the Turtle Blimp, of course. I do have a loose blimp or two somewhere in one of the loose tubs that I have. So I will pull that out some magical day for everybody to look at. Ninja Turtles Mutations. Who had these and who liked them? I uh, looks like this one here is Mike. Uh, I don't know if what they call him specifically. Oh, here we are. Night Ninja Mike. Here is the back of the box. And this one, 1993. Look at all the ones that came in the mutations options. I know I have a loose splinter somewhere and then the Don Nutello and maybe Shredder. That 25 cent toy at the flea markets that nobody buys. Looks like there's more boxes in there and we'll get to those but for now I have Fugitoid and this card is pretty darn good. As I mentioned in the other video I would like to get uh, the plastic cases to put these in. Kind of like what I do with my Hot Wheels, what what collectors do with those. So Fugitoid was remade for the 2012 series. I'm not sure if I've done a video on that. I can't remember. But uh, he was gray, I believe, in the new one. And here's the back of that card. Put the mouse are up at the top. And Fugitoid was released in 1990. Always liked that figure. Liked that he actually could hold these weapons pretty well. I'm just turning over things. I have no idea. So here's Panda Khan. One of my favorite guys to fight on the arcade game, I believe. He dropped big uh, asteroid-like things from the sky and tried to kill the turtles. I mean, I assumed it was Panda Khan. Maybe somebody out there in Facebook, or not Facebook world, but uh, YouTube world knows what I'm talking about. It was the ice level. So Panzacon had a gun and Krang's there at the bottom. I am no one's pet. He's not very happy with Krang. Look at that. There's like ooze coming out of Krang. That's funny. And, well, not funny for Krang. 1990, Portrait of Panda Khan, 350 pounds, 8 foot tall. Wow. And the back of that card. Not pictured. Screw loose. Okay. Next, we got Rat King. Okay, great. I was hoping that I had Rat King. I remember mentioning this on the other, or on the first Ninja Turtle unboxing video. Rat King, who will shoot rats at you. Some really neat artwork. He has those red eyes. And... 1989. There you can read about Rat King if you like. And all of the other figures. And there's that ooze again. So okay. It's that Rat King aside. And we're going to pull out S Sewer Samurai Leo. Taste cold steel shredder. Some green weapons there. Let's see, this sold a KB for $4.99. Chopping off a foot soldier's head. So there we have proof that they were robots. Obviously. Just not in the movies. And this one came out in 90, 1990. Kind of giving you a sweep of the backs of the cards there. Hope you all like that. 
Oh, gee whiz. Okay, here's Muckman. And I really need to show... I, I do need to do a video of this Muckman with the new Muckman that is um, kind of hard to find now in stores or very hard to find. Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Who remembered his name before I said it? Joe Eyeball. I do like this figure. Very easy to stand since he balances on a sewer lid. There is some of his uh, artwork. That one's okay, I guess. Well, better than I could do anyway. And there's his portrait. His intimate portrait. Next on Lifetime. Muckman's intimate portrait. 1990. See, that Joe Eyeball looks really cool. He is, he's all uh, has the white eyes and the, the red on there. I need to customize mine, man. Mine doesn't look anything like that. Another robotic foot soldier that you would see in the first unboxing video I did. That's annoying. Okay, robotic foot soldier. And that one's 94. With a bunch of different characters on the back as we've talked about before in the other video. So we're moving on. There's a lot more in this box than I thought there were. Raph the Space Cadet. Here's the figure you can't ever get sick of. One giant step for turtle kind. There's Slash on there trying to fight him. Not sure why Slash doesn't have a space helmet on if uh, the other one does there. I guess they're not fighting on, in space. Uh, the turtle has landed. Lame. 1990. There's all back of his card. I kind of confuse I kind of confuse this yellow pipe sometimes with the one that Craig has because I believe Craig is supposed to have one of those long yellow or some color maybe it's gray for Craig. Here's an odd figure. Worm. Get away from me you disgusting worm. I'm pure protein. That's pretty gross. Need artwork. Those little red things get lost. Worm. Worm came out in 91. Favorite food, rotten meat. That's pretty gross. I do remember his eyes move, yeah. Open worm's jaw for views of munchy mouth worms. Wiggle worm's wig and his eyes bug out. I do like the... Uh, Storage shell turtles that you could see up there toward the top left. Those are neat. Okay, who else do we got? Another weird figure. Monty Moose! Not the one from Vacation. That was Marty Moose. I always get my mutant. Now he's... Looks like he's fighting rock steady in this. He does have a little associate there. Okay, so he's a good guy, and he comes with Bob the Beaver, and he was released in 92. There's Super Shredder, and Toka, and Razar, some of the most impossible figures to stand, along with Chrome Dome. Favorite figures to stand? Mutagerman, Muckman, those guys are great. Triceraton was really easy, because he has the tail. King Lionheart, lame. Okay. Next we got Michelangelo. He was in a half shell. I hope you all have heard of Michelangelo. He's a fairly popular Ninja Turtle character. You might have heard of him before, not quite sure. Here's the tin back. Talks all about him. He's 15 and a half. There's a head floating right below Splinter. Okay. Is that what he's supposed to look like? Mm, okay. Next figure, please. Ah, oh, one of my favorites. Good memories with this one. This is uh, 
one that I remember taking down to the lake when I spent time with my grandparents. Grandma would watch Golden Girls and I'd sit on the floor playing with Sewer Surf and Mike. Really like this figure a lot. His cool surfboard. Now this figure out of my collection probably has the most wear and tear because I really played a lot with this one. And so he would have released 1990. Goodness gracious. I remember playing with that one quite a bit. What else have we got in here? Ha! Another one. Okay. There are two of them. I think I might have got one for a birthday at some point. When I was an adult. <laughs> I'm not an adult now, so. Uh, walkabout, kicking kangaroo from down under. Good day, mate. Man, that's not stereotypical. It looks like he's throwing a boomerang into Rocksteady's mouth. And he comes with Kid Kangi. I never knew the name. He may be young, but he's got a mean temper. Not sure if that was English or Australian. This character came out in 91. Look at all those figures on the back. Those are neat. So we'll set Mr. Walkabout aside and pull out Shredder. Nothing like the cartoon. I don't remember Shredder walking around like this, but uh, as I said in the other video, I really want Toon Shredder. I never saw Shredder use most of those weapons that he comes with. Ten back. 1988. There's all about Shredder. Six foot tall. 200 pounds. And that floating head again. Okay. Hey, I do have... That's really neat. Wing nut and screw loose. Fangs don't fail me now. Well, a lot of these uh, figures come with uh, associates. Wingnut and Screw Loose. Dingbat buddies who bite the baddies. This kind of looks like the thing on Tales from the Dark Side. Um, that had a Ray Dong Chong in it. Not appropriate for small children, but it's a really cool episode. Screw Loose, the Mosquito. I think he might be easy to stand. I remember Walkabout's friend wasn't very easy to stand at all. That talks about Wingnut in 1990. A lot of different variations on the backs of these cards. If I cared enough, I'd go through and research it and all that. Zack the Neutrino. One of my most expensive uh, animation cells that I bought was Zack the Neutrino. I should do a video on that. He is actually up there on the wall. Uh, up in the top right, there's some of the animation cells here I have in the living room. But Zack the Neutrino comes with a hoverboard and some other huge weapons that probably wouldn't balance well on the hoverboard, 1991. He had some friends that came along with him, Kayla and uh, what was the other one's name? Gosh, you guys are screaming it at me. I know you are. Um, I have to look it up. Kayla and something else. Oh, Dax. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking something else. Make my day, Leo. I can just imagine the people in the boardroom sitting around designing this figure. Go ahead. Uh-huh. We'll put, we'll put Leo in a cop outfit. Like he's going after Dirtbag. And Make My Day Leo appeared in 1991 when they were running out of ideas. I mean, uh, when they were making new figures. <laughs> Man, it's getting crowded. Oh, those rocking ones. I, I like those. I think I had those at one point somewhere. Who knows? Hey, Stuck! Now this, when he's loose, I think one comes, uh, one comes where you could take the head off, and then one where you can't take the head off. Obviously, I don't know which one this is. They were his egg bombs. He's the aerodynamic adventurer. 
He is uh, cracking eggs. Here's a portrait of Ace Duck. Oh, least favorite time duck hunting season. Man, that's funny. He's four foot six, just about the same height as Howard the Duck, and he came out in 1990. And there's all the figures there on the back of that one. Oh gosh. April. What are they doing? Let's release 20 Aprils. We haven't got to, well, I shouldn't say that. The Ravishing Reporter April. That one looks kind of risque. One more step and I'll scoop ya. Her hair is perpetually blown to the left of her body. Here are the, oh, there's Scale Tail. Remember that one. And this April came out in 92. Anthrax. That's a cool figure. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, goodness. Okay. What do we got? This is the figure that I t bought like eight of at flea markets over the last 15 years. And they're my rock army, even though it's the same figure, because they didn't release the rock soldier figure, which I really wish they would have. Walmart, 394 General Trag, really great figure. A lot of plastic for the price. Pretty heavy. Released 1989. And there's his weapons, which are pretty cool. He can only hold two at a time. He holds them pretty well. I remember liking that figure quite a bit. What is this? Oh, there's another Bebop. You can see uh, more of a detailed version of me showing you the Bebop in the first action turtle video here's where we're getting into lame city unless you like star trek which is fine first officer donatello i'll show you guys so you can see it because that's what this video is for i i don't know some completionists i guess would have to have this i thought i was a completionist at one point but i'm not anymore I don't think I just think it takes too much time to I don't know try to find everything there's a cat that's Jack what else is in here oh we got Ray Filet Ray Filet we showed off in the first video and kind of talked about him I'll put a part one on there so you'll know which video I'm talking about Okay, and then we got, oh god, of course, there it is, the Ravishing Reporter, April O'Neil, real rooted hair, uh, I'm not gonna even find out if, what they mean by real, but, uh, don't you think she just looks great for a night out on the town, walking around downtown, that's what I thought, mess up my hair and die, This is, uh, uh, anyway, 1992. She comes with a bunch of stuff. She has a camera. There's a weird card there with all the figures. Rock and roll Mondo Gecko. That's a cool card. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Cyber Samurai Shredder, 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 Shredder. I might have paid five ninety nine for it somewhere. Two spring launching Shredder fists. Wow, he could. Never mind. I won't even tell you that joke. Okay, let's see. So this one came out in looking for a year. Look nineteen. I'm not finding the year outright. I believe it's from the 90s. Let's just go with that. Early 90s. 94 is what I want to say, but I guess I don't know for sure. And then Yusagi Yojimbo. This is cool. This is a great figure. Harder to stand, but you can figure it out. Samurai hair with a knife. Mad props to the drawers, animators, illustrators, whatever. His favorite holiday is Easter. 
These people just sat around and patted themselves on the backs after these jokes. Look at this pile. This is this is crazy. Okay. So we got Raf Sewer Speedboat, the Splash and Sewer Sea Skimmer. This box is in pretty darn good shape. There's some things on the back. Get the Ninja New Cycle. Get the Cheapskate. 1991. Keep that in the background. Let's see what else we got. Retro Catapult. Flying news at foot. We got a, We got you covered, slime ball. Spring-powered garbage can launcher. Rug-resistant. Retro mutagen ooze included. Um, not even sure if the ooze is still in there. Uh, nope, ooze isn't in there. Looks like just the vehicle is probably a good thing. Sewer Party 2. These are really neat. This is the yellow black zebra striping. Really floats. Detachable foot net rotating party pump blaster. And this one is 1988. 89, sorry. There's the foot ski, one of my favorite things, I guess because it goes with the foot soldiers. You can read all about the sewer party tub if you pause it there. You can see what it's all about. I guess I didn't look at the retro catapult what year it came out. It was a 1989 as well. And Walmart, it was something in 80, 83 cents. Hmm. Getting close to the bottom. Here's the foot ski. Box is empty. Michelangelo. See, it's funny because, like, if it's a villain car, they're, you know, they're about to win, killing the good guys. And if it's a good guy box, then they're gonna about to win, killing the bad guys. I guess that makes sense, and it's obvious. I know. Floats in water. Electrifying vinyl leeches and turtle harpoon detachable turtle seeking torpedoes. On my foot soldier video, you can, if you pause it just the right moment, you can see a close up probably of the foot ski. I think there are two or three on the shelves in there. And the foot ski was released in 89 as well. Man, that was just a great year. Good year. 1989 is a good year. I have a card back in here for Ray Fillet, where he was 369 at whatever store that is. Something panda. Peter Panda. Finally in the box. Or the tub. I have Krang's Android Body Box. This was in one of our videos. This box is currently empty because the figure is on the shelf. I'll have to thank my friend Marcus for giving me this. This is his from growing up. I don't know. Well, he got older. I don't know if he ever grew up. Hold on to your stomach. Don't launch your lunch, because here comes the bubbling brain and the belly of a beast. You can read it all there. Rotating brain wave radar. And there are all the figures. Those, that, that don't tell it back there. kind of looks creepy. I guess that's right. Collect all the giant, oh, that's what it is, the giant turtle characters. That's the Bebop that I have. I don't have the Rocksteady, though. I do have Bebop's gun, which is kind of cool. I see these big figures go for uh, about $50 online on some of the Facebook groups I'm on. And this was released in 91. Pizza points. I'd say you should get a lot of pizza points for that. Four pizza points. One on the back of these things, you get one. Okay, well, you pay four times the price. Of course, I'm not sure how much that was. But anyway, the box is empty. I will move on to the other tub at some point. And if you have any questions, please ask them. Like, subscribe, and then that way you'll definitely get notified when I release part three, maybe part four um, of the Ninja Turtle videos. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.